Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with Dr. Sylvie Wellhausen. Um, our topic today is on understanding lab tests. So a lot of people come and tell us that they go to their conventional primary physician. Um, their doctor orders some labs. They're not quite sure what they are, but they don't ever see the results, and they're not quite sure, you know, what ever came of those labs and how the doctors have been utilizing those. Mm -hmm. So really, we're trying to empower patients to either, mm -hmm. you know, understand labs a little better so they know what to ask for from their primary or also kind of help them understand the difference of how a functional medicine practitioner might really dig into biochemistry a little bit more utilizing labs. So That's right. Well, mm -hmm. laboratory testing is a window to the, this particular patient's biochemistry, mm. and this is why we really like blood work. Um, you know, we like to look at all blood works that patients come with. We also like to order some more blood tests according to, you know, the pa patient's presentation. Mm -hmm. um, but besides the complicated functional medicine testing that are costly and from specialty labs, we like to first utilize, you know, your local laboratory and to, you know, to use, um, I mean, there's thousands of tests mm -hmm. even from the local labs, so it doesn't limit us. Um, but we look at four kind of separate categories besides the CBC chem and lipids. We look at some um, markers for the cardiometabolic system. And then we look at um, markers for inflammation. Mm -hmm. We also look at markers from the thyroid adrenal to look at the patient's metabolism. Mm -hmm. And fourth, we look at uh, hormones, you know, um, trying to balance the hormones. Mm -hmm. And all of that are done according to the actual numbers, you know, of the values, of the test values. So we titrate our treatment uh, with some data. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yes. I mean, of course, you know, every patient will have lifestyle changes and nutritional changes, but the actual supplements are um, definitely going after the numbers. I mean, if you have a vitamin D level of 15 versus, um, you know, 30, that's going to be very different as far as how we treat that patient. Right. And so in sub subsequent videos, I know you're going to be going into more detail about each of these four tires. That's right, because we consider that, you know, um, we consider that basically the foundation, just like if you do the car analogy, uh, you know, the hormonal system, the thyroid, um, the metabolic system, and, you know, the cardio, um, the heart, you know, heart disease prevention, because that's the main pillar in the, right. uh, you know, of course, we're also addressing, you know, different lab tests according to disease of the patient that are very specialty tests, but yes. that's, of course, Wonderful. outside of that. Wonderful. So we're looking forward to those videos coming yeah. in the subsequent weeks. And definitely the goal of these videos, including this one, is to really just educate you all as mm -hmm. to what's available either through a primary physician or through a functional medicine practitioner. Mm -hmm. um, even labs that are run at a conventional doctor's office can be brought to a functional medicine practitioner. That's right. And they can sometimes be utilized through your insurance or, you know, we have local labs that offer actually great cash prices for patients that have either no insurance or that just have catastrophic care mm. because, you know, more and more patients just have catastrophic care, what they call the bronze uh, right. coverage, and then they have some discretionary income to do more of what they want. So it gives them a bit more freedom to order more labs. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, we're looking forward to those videos. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.